Hi, my name is Jennifer Grenz and I'm the coordinator for the Greater Vancouver Invasive Plant Council and we're here today to take a look at a new monster in our region, giant hogweed, and then also to look at uh, the difference between our native species cow parsnip that looks very similar to giant hogweed. So as you can see here, um, we have giant hogweed and you can see that it's quite a bit taller than I am. These plants get up to about 15 feet tall and I would say that these plants are around uh, that height. Um, these plants or, um, came from Asia and were brought here as a garden ornamental and you can definitely see why that would be. Um, these are the most amazing plants you'll probably ever see in your life. And uh, what has happened though is that the plants grow very well here and are starting to colonize sensitive habitat. Um, they also pose a serious public health risk as the leaves and stems contain a toxic sap that makes you sensitive to the sunlight. And these burns can reoccur for up to 10 years anytime that part of your body is exposed to sunlight. So this is of concern to us. So we're working hard to try and eradicate this plant from our region um, as quickly as we can. So this is a great example for you uh, to see that this plant really is the biggest plant you are ever going to see. So to help you distinguish between um, giant hogweed and the native cow parsnip, we have a great opportunity here because the two plants are actually growing together. Unfortunately, they're not flowering, um, but we do, we do have two great examples of leaves that we can compare. So um, you can see on the giant hogweed and in the leaf right behind me here, that these leaves are very deeply lobed. That is that they're really cut in deeply and they have a very serrated edge to them. And you can see that on the plant. It's very spiky and pointy. Whereas cow parsnip, um, which looks very similar to giant hogweed, but only really grows up to about a meter and a half tall, does not have leaves that are as deeply lobed nor are they as serrated on the edges. They kind of, some people liken them to like a, a funny looking maple leaf. Um, so you can see here again that the edges are not as serrated or as deeply lobed as the giant hogweed leaves. So you can see that this goes in a lot further and the edges look much like a serrated knife. So that's one of the main ways that we distinguish between these two plants. Unfortunately, the cow parsnip at this site is not flowering, so we can't give you a comparison in the flowers, but basically when you see cow parsnip flowering, it looks like giant hogweed thrown in the dryer and shrunk down. So you get white flowering umbels like this, but there just aren't as many flowers um, on each of those umbels. And again, you're gonna find the flowers at about your head height. So when you see that, chances are it is not giant hogweed. However, um, just because it's native doesn't mean you should touch it because cow parsnip does also cause rashes and, and burns, but not as bad as giant hogweed.